it's that relaxed atmosphere, it's the comfortable atmosphere that we try and give and you know from just saying hello in the corridor to literally just sitting down and having a chat about what you've done this weekend, that's, that's kind of what we're all about. You all right? Uh, so we're here today to talk about courses in media uh, and the careers that you can go into. Okay. Um, so could you tell us a bit more about media at the UCR? Um, media at UCR, very creative. Um, anything you can dream of, you can build it as a way I kind of sell it to people. Um, if you've got ideas of making game shows, podcasts, writing scripts, being a director, being a, an editor who likes to just kind of like sit in the cupboard or whatever, like that kind of stuff, Whatever you want to work in in the media industry, we can we set you up for that. We have course uh, the course sorry has modules that are spread across all different ways of working in the media. It's not just one specific thing that we'll cover, and we allow all creativity to kind of just take place from whatever you've got, really. Amazing. So, what's your favourite part of the subject? Oh, it's difficult. Um, I'd say editing um, because I'm someone who I'm quite a night owl, so. I'm happy to stay up until like 3 a.m. just sitting in a dark room with a couple of like RGB lights everywhere, just kind of editing, doing my thing. Um, but equally, as, a, as I've kind of gotten a little bit older, I've started to really appreciate like camera work and, and working on camera really a bit more. Um, so you studied media, um, so could you tell us a little bit about your educational journey? Yeah, so um, I went to another college um, that wasn't this one first after finishing my GCSEs, found that it wasn't for me really. Um, I did A-levels at the time and exams weren't something that I was fond of, truth be told and I decided to come here uh, at level three and do my BTEC. At the time it was BTEC and anyway, we now do UAL, but it's BTEC at the time. Um, and I really found my feet and I just did it because media was always something that I was interested in. Film has always been something that I've loved and I decided that just give it a go really. I was still at that age where I could do that and I got to have the chance to be able to just chew, pick and choose. Did the level three and then they'd just written the course for here for UCR doing the BA. So I was like, okay, let's jump on in. So I jumped straight into doing the degree. The first year it was raw, I was, I was in, it was me. Uh, and then we kind of, we guinea pigged it all the way through for the tutors, I guess. We were the first kind of year to run through it. And um, yeah, it was brilliant. We, we spent three years together, a small group of us, I think it was like five or six of us in our class. And we just made some cool stuff and, and got to know each other really well. And we became quite a tight knit little group. Um, the course itself was fun. The tutors were fantastic. So a lot of the teaching styles kind of that we have here at the UCR from myself, Casey, James and Neve, we, we kind of took from the tutors that taught us during our degree here. Um, so people like Sarah, Steve and Ricky, they were fantastic and we've taken bits and bobs from them, implemented it in our own stuff and now we are who, who we are. But the, you know, the, the course when we did it as students was phenomenal and that's why we wanted to kind of come back and, and teach it really. Why should someone come and study media at the UCR then? I would say the, the main reason would be how personal we are. Um, we've got a little bubble in our own little area up here in the UCR in the studios and stuff and we've created a you know, without sound cheesy, a bit of a family atmosphere where we're always open to speak to students and we're very much, um, you know, we're just, we're not trying to be higher than anyone else. We're not trying to be some superior person that knows much more than anyone else. It's just a case of, I've got some information that I know, those guys want to know it. I'm just going to pass that information on. And other than that, I'm just Ryan. And, and that's how it should be. And we've always treat, treat everyone with the same kind of respect that we expect to receive. And it's not, it's not serious, I guess. It's, it's, I'm, I feel like I'm dumbing it down a bit when I say it's not serious. Of course it's serious, it's a degree, but it's that relaxed atmosphere. It's the comfortable atmosphere that we try and give. And you know, from just saying hello in the corridor to literally just sitting down and having a chat about what you've done this weekend, that's, that's kind of what we're all about. We, for, for me, and it's something that I took from, like I said, the previous tutors when I did my degree here, here, you're not just a number, you are a human being, you're a person, and that's how, how we'll, we'll talk to you, really. You're, you're someone that matters, you're not just a past grade for us. So what courses is it that they do here at the UCR for media? Okay, so the media course here is Media and Photography. The official title is BA Honours, Media, Moving Image and Photography. So within that, you'll do three years, obviously like a normal BA and you will have core modules, depending whether you're media or photography, it doesn't matter. You'll do core modules and that way you get like basic skills that everyone can encompass, so things like composition, um, learning how to kind of 
um, write uh, research files and how to reference and all that kind of stuff. And then alongside that, you'll have your own specialism. So media guys will do um, single cam, multi cam, um, sound design, script writing, and all that kind of stuff. And then photography will go along and do digital image manipulation, traditional photography, digital photography. So you have your two pathways split that way, but you have your core modules alongside that. So, uh, how would a prospective student apply to study media at the So, to study with us, nice and easy. First and foremost, just log on to the website, find in, log in, get your pages, log on in that way. Um, equally, you could come through UCAS if needs be, um, but most people just come directly because then you can save yourself a bit of money by not having to pay for UCAS. In your opinion, why should someone go into a role within the media? So the media industry is fantastic. As for someone who, like myself and like well, everyone in the room really, we're creative people and we want to make stuff. And working in the media industry allows you to be, it's an outlet for any ideas you've got, any kind of thoughts you've got, anything, any kind of dreams you've had, things that you want to make. The, the media industry is, is, is all about that and creating and, and developing. And I've always found working in industry and meeting people in industry, it's all about that like, community and that camaraderie that on the set and everyone works together to create this thing, whatever it might be. Um, and working in, in media has, has always kind of, it's just been a, it's a creative outlet for people really. That's how it's always been for me and that's how I've always kind of, I've always seen it. So you've worked in the media as well as mm -hmm. teaching. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about your roles within the media? Yeah, so um, away from teaching, I worked in a clothing brand for a few years and I ran through their social medias, behind the scenes videos, photography, um, design work, you name it, I did it in creative kind of space for those guys. Um, essentially kind of did all the, all the creative space stuff um, based within UK hockey a little bit. And then from that it's branched on a little bit now and I, I now work as an official photographer for a, a localised hockey club as well. Um, so taking behind the scenes pictures, so having it being game pictures, my specialism and focus is pictures of the crowd, pictures of the players in the tunnels, that kind of stuff. So all the behind the scenes kind of candid stuff, which I think to be honest, there's a lot of what people like to see on social media. They see the game and everything all the time, that's fine, but they want to see what's going on like behind the scenes or how, how do the players get ready or how do how does like how do the fans like cheer and what, what, what kind of atmosphere is it and, and capturing that as as part of what I do now as well as teaching. Um, so if you've worked in the media for ice hockey, yeah. uh, do you have any interesting stories that go along with that? Um, working with the players. The players are fun. Um, they're a bit nuts, truth be told. Be, playing ice hockey is, you've got to be some sort of character really. Um, but every week when I'm rolling down with the camera, I'm in the tunnel, every week someone new hitting me with the stick, pushing the camera out of my hand, trying to trip me over, trying to like, I've started going on the ice now to take some more pictures like after the game and stuff. So now they're trying to like push my foot from under me or whatever. <laughs> just just constantly being bullied by the boys, really. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Um, okay, so thank you very much for your time today, Ryan. No um, it's been great to talk to you. You too.